Hey friends, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be talking about some Welsh baby names. This is part of a little ongoing cultural name series I've got going. I'm doing a little playlist and slowly adding to, to it month by month. Um, so in this category are names from different countries, cultures, and religions. Definitely Welsh names fits into that. I think Welsh names are so beautiful. I've been reading up on them a lot lately. They have a very melodic and magical sound that I'm drawn to. Speaking of the way that the Welsh names sound, you can clearly hear that my accent is not Welsh. Um, I've lived in various parts of California my whole life, but I definitely have a United States West Coast accent dialect. Um, so I will pronounce the names to the best of my pronunciation ability and knowledge. I have researched them, but um, nobody's perfect, myself definitely included. If you have any information or pronunciation, you know, tidbits, leave those in the comments below. I welcome constructive, polite criticism, of course. Um, and I definitely want to hear what names that you love from this list or other Welsh names you love. Speaking of Welsh names, um, in every video I say, hi, this is Megan, or what's up, friends, it's Megan. Why I feel the need to reintroduce myself, I don't know. But my name is Megan, it's M-E-A-G-A-N. The more common um, spelling of it is M-E-G-A-N. It's hard for me to say, I'm so used to spelling it my way. Um, but Megan is a Welsh name, that's why I'm talking about it. And it is, you'll hear I'm saying it more like Megan, um, but altogether Megan. But the Welsh pronunciation is more like Megan, so I say it more like emphasis on Meg, M-E-G. They say it more emphasis on M-A-Y and then G-A-N-N -N kind of. So Megan or Megan um, is a Welsh name and it means pearl and I definitely like that meaning very much. So there are many Welsh names. Um, that end in the sound or the three letters win. So for girls, the spelling is W-E-N, for boys it's W-Y-N. And I think um, here in North America, we tend to add that like Y-N to girls' names. So it's kind of the reverse. I just want to throw that out there. And you'll see I like a lot of names that end in that win sound. I'm definitely drawn to that. A lot of the names um, I chose for my little favorite Welsh names, that's what I'm going to talk about eventually, um, are pretty dated. <laughs> so these might not be names used a whole lot in present day Wales. Um, at the end of the video, I will briefly just go over the top 10 names for girls and boys in Wales. It's Wales and England are combined though um, for 2012 so that you have a more accurate kind of depiction of what names are actually used now. So now we can get started started. These are my top 10 Welsh names for girls my favorite names 10 to 1, 1 being my favorite. So for number 10 I have Tanwin. Tanwin means holy fire, it also means white fire, um, and I think the name Tanwin could be easily used here and not mispronounced. Um, I think people, the pronunciation is pretty similar um, with both accents. Number nine is Katrin. Katrin is a Welsh variation of the name Catherine. It means pure. It is used in other countries as well. It's not exclusive just to Wales. And I really um, tend to like lots of different variations of the name Catherine. And I think Katrin has a really pretty sound to it. And it's kind of a little like spicy or different than just Catherine, which is classic and lovely as well. My eighth choice is um, Ilwyn. Ilwyn means fair brow. Um, a lot of the names that I picked have that ill sound to it. Um, and Ilwyn, I like how it looks. I like how it sounds. It has a really rich, very Welsh sound to it to me. And it sounds a bit like like a mystic priestess or something. I don't know where I get those things from. Sorry, I'm going to go on tangents the whole video. All right. For number seven, I have Alice. Alice is a Welsh variation of Alice, A-L-I-S-E. It means noble. Um, if you've been watching my videos, I've been really drawn to the name Alice lately. So definitely the name Alice drew me to this one, which is very similar, Alice. Number six is Bronwyn. Bronwyn means white. It also means fair-breasted, and it means holy and pure. Um, this is a name that I definitely had heard before living in the United States, so I think people here may be a little bit more familiar with it, um, and I think it has a very strong um, but still feminine sound to it. 
Number five is Rhiannon. Rhiannon um, is often pronounced, mispronounced, I think, in the United States as Rhiannon, like N-U-N at the end, but um, the Welsh pronunciation is more like N-O-N, non, so Rhiannon. Um, and it means Divine Queen. It is easily recognizable to many people as the song um, Rhiannon from Fleetwood Mac that came out in 1976. Um, so I do think this actually might be the most recognizable name to um, us here in the United States on this list. Number four, I have Ilari. Ilari is a um, unisex name, or it can be a little bit more popular with girls though, and it means very bitter. It's also the name of a river in Wales. Um, I definitely love a lot of E names, but you'll see this one has more of the ill sound um, than the E sound to it. Number three is Alwyn. Alwyn means white footprint. I love the sound of this name. And I had been mispronouncing it actually before I researched it as Olwyn, more like O-L-E, but it's definitely a strong A-L-L -L sound. So Alwyn, not Orwyn, but I do like both. I don't know. Number two is Arianwin. Arianwin just sounds so magical. It means white, fair, blessed, and silver. Many people in the baby name world um, like this name. It's on a lot of people's listography, guilty pleasure lists, and I see why I think Arianwin is um, very grand and beautiful. And then my number one um, Welsh baby name for girls is Karis. So Karis means love or to love. It's very usable in the United States. I have a neighbor. She goes by, um, she pronounces it a little different, Karis. And I definitely have been saying it Karis, but um, it can be pronounced either way. Um, but Karis is more the Welsh pronunciation of it. On to my top 10 Welsh names for boys. Again, these are 10 to 1, my least and most favorite. So number 10, I have um, a down. Down means wing, it also means royal. It kind of reminds me of the popular Aiden, um, so it could be a cool alternative. A down. Then, okay, this one is just really fun to say, it's Mylgoon. Mylgoon means prince or hound, like I said. I just really love to say it. So I like Mylgoon in a very guilty pleasure way. I can never see myself really using it for a future child, but man, is it fun. <laughs> then I have Michael. Michael is a variation of Michael, which means who is like the Lord. Um, I think visually it's cool, and I like the sound of it as well. Number seven, I have Coil. Coil is um, a Celtic and Welsh name. It is a unisex name. It means trust or to trust. And I think Coil is a cool alternative to Cole. Then I have Bowen. Bowen is a Celtic surname. Um, it's Irish and Welsh as well. It means son of Owen. Um, and I think Bowen is definitely very usable in the United States. And I like the nickname Bowie. I think that's cute. For number five, I have Owain. Owain um, may pronounced, be pronounced here more like Owen, um, and it's a variation of Owen. It's Gaelic and Welsh. It means young warrior. It also means youthful, um, but I think Owain or Owen is really cool. Uh, number four, many of you will recognize, it's um, Dalong. So I really want to say Dylan, but I believe the Welsh pronunciation is a little bit more like Dylan, and it means son of the sea. Very popular and usable in the United States. It will be pronounced, I think, definitely more like Dylan than Dylan. It is the number 31 name right now in popularity here. Then I have Ellis. Ellis is Welsh variation of the name Ellis, E-L-L-I-S. It means benevolent. Another E name <laughs> on my list. And I think it just sounds really cool, Ellis. Number two is Maxon. Maxon is the Welsh form of Maxim, um, and it comes from the Latin Maximus. I love Max, M-A-X names, but I think Maxon sounds really cool. Like, where has this name been? I want somebody to use it. <laughs> All right, and then my number one name is Aris. And then um, I often say this name more like Reese, so, but it's like Aris and it means Ardor, it's number 476, such a cool name. Particularly, I love this name as a middle name choice. I would definitely use it. So on to what the most popular names for last year, 2012, were. Um, so England and Wales do combine their list for their popularity ranking. Um, so these are the most popular names in England and Wales for 2012. 
So for girls, number one is Amelia, which is the number 23 name here in the United States. Number two is Olivia, which is currently number four here. Number three is Lily, which is number 16 here. Number four is Jessica, which is down at 138 here. Number five is Emily, which is the number six name, pretty close here. Number six is Sophie, which is number 52, although Sophia is number one here in the U.S. Number seven is Ruby. Ruby is cute. Ruby is number 106 in the United States. Number eight is Grace, which is the number 21 name here in the U.S. Number nine is Ava, which is number five here. And number 10 is Isabella, which is the number three name here. So four of the names in the top 10 in England and Wales are also in the top 10 here in the United States. Olivia, Emily, Ava, and Isabella, and I think that's kind of interesting. On to the boys' top 10 names in England and Wales. Number one is Harry, which is all the way down at number 718 here. Number two is Oliver, which is number 73 here. Number three is Jack, number 46 here. Number four is Alfie, not even in the top 1,000 here in the US. Number five is Charlie, which is number 233 here. Number six is Thomas, which is number 63 here. Number seven is Jacob, which has been the number one name here for a bit. Number eight is James, which is number 14 here in the U.S. Number nine is Joshua, which is number 17 here. And number 10 is William, which is number five here. So for boys, we have less names um, in common. We only have two that are both in the top 10, and those are William and Jacob. So I think that's kind of interesting. Um, I would love to hear your comments on what your favorite names from this list are, what your favorite Welsh names are, um, what other countries and cultures or religions you'd like to hear names from. I hope you're all having a lovely, lovely day, and I'll see you soon for the next video.